dynamic way that requirements are stored within the database enables us to slice and dice the data so that we can view it in a number of different ways. Here, for example, is a view which quickly shows us where we have stakeholder requirements which do not currently have corresponding system requirements. Clearly, there is more work to be done here before we can submit the system requirements for review. Here, a different view shows us where we have created system requirements which are not based on any stakeholder requirements, indicating that these are beyond the scope of the project and that we could potentially be wasting time and money working on them, as well as making our customers unhappy. The ability to identify these early means that we are spending more time focusing on delivering the right solution. Additionally, the Link Explorer gives a visual representation of the traceability from one requirement to another, and even on to related work items and test elements, giving us a greater understanding of the impact of change and showing how requirements are expressed differently at different levels of the development process.